So, good afternoon, everybody. This is Gabe. Um, I just had some things come to my mind that I just wanted to let you guys know why I am a conservative gay male um, and support Donald Trump 100%. Number one, he's our nominee. It wasn't my first choice, but um, he is my nominee. And I do support him, 100%. So, I'm on board that train, baby. But, number one, he's a hustler in a bar. And I admire that. Um, he's a good businessman. If you're a good businessman, of course you're going to have some business failures, especially when you own as many as he has. But, um, more importantly, um, I'm kind of disgusted not kind of, very disgusted and extremely disappointed in the way uh, my fellow black folk have chosen over the past 60 years to really enslave, allow themselves to be enslaved to the Democratic Party, the Slave Master Party. And uh, a prominent man in history has once said, shortly before he was assassinated, the Democratic Party is playing you for political chumps. And if you continue to vote for that party, not only are you a political chump, but you are a traitor to your race. Extraordinarily powerful words. Those words come from Malcolm X. Don't agree with him on everything, but sometimes a good word can come from an unholy mouth. LBJ liberal Democrat said that he'll have all them niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. Well, he's 60 years and counting on his way, folks. We're enslaved as a people. We live in trash, filth, ghetto, gut rot cities, Oakland, Philadelphia, Newark, New Jersey, Camden, New Jersey, St. Louis, New Orleans, Chicago, killing each other in every city, 300 to 500 people a year in every single city. It's disgusting to me. And those cities, every single last one of them were ran by liberal Democrats from the top down. Conservatives, Republicans have nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with that trash, filth, gut rot. Murderous. Crap. Nothing to do with it at all. So that's why I stand with the conservative party and the conservative movement. Forget Republicans, them fake ass pieces of shit Republicans. I'm a conservative. But I'm a conservative that's going to support Donald Trump because I believe he is not owned. And I believe that Donald Trump will bring back a spirit that will allow young black men to actually go hustle and bustle the right way to get what they need to get and to get to provide for their families instead of going out dealing drugs going out shooting up people over stupid nonsense it's ridiculous and i will not stand with it i'm not a part of it i'm a part of the five percent of the free free-minded free-thinking black men in this country I'm not a boy. I'm not owned and never will be. To the homosexual community, my fellow gay folk, wake up. Hillary Clinton does not love you. Taking all this money from all these countries that slaughter gays every day. They're just trying to work your vote, baby. Trying to work your vote. They do not care about you one bit. This is not about gun control. This is about terrorism. They bombed every second. They bombed the police in, in Philadelphia. No, they shot the police in Philadelphia, rather. Sorry. They, they shot, shot up the military in Fort Hood. They, the, uh, the Boston bombing. The Zaniath brothers. San Bernardino. The Naval Yard in DC. I mean, they've hit up every sector. It's just now your time. You're nothing special. You're not a special victim here, my fellow gay folks. Of course they hate gays. 
and they hate everybody else and they've been hitting everybody else. They just finally got their way back to you, up to you. So stop trying to make yourself out to be some kind of special victim. This is not a hate crime. I know you guys wish it was a white, straight Christian male so it would fit your narrative. But your narrative's been shattered. This is a man of Afghani descent. His parents are straight from Afghanistan. He's not too far from Afghanistan. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. This is Islamic attack. It was not some lone, crazy, you know, white person. I know I, I'm, as much as I know you guys want it to be. So you don't have to go after poor old Muslims. But it wasn't. And that's just reality. That's fact. And they've been hitting up us. They've been hitting us up for a long time, underneath this president especially. So, get over yourselves. This is an American problem, American safety issue, and we need to take action. Strong action. And so I stand with Donald Trump. Sorry this video was a little bit long, but I just had to get some stuff off my chest. God bless. Have a good day.